Sun Devils win the opener by a score of 5-2. to two. Hello there, everyone. Scott Erickson and Darren Sutton, thanks for keeping track of this great series. And it was a first inning for Seth Martinez that he took advantage of, and it was wild and woolly on this Friday the 13th. It started with Gage Canning pulling his hands in and just jumping early on on Nathan Bannister, who's been so good all year long. Might have been out at third except for a spectacular slide right around that. Uh, Bobby Dahl back, and he was in there. And not a well-struck ball, but enough to dump in there to play to run Colby Wood Mancy after a walk. Roller into center field. Andrew Shapps adds another run. That's three on the inning, and then the backbreaker. Would have been the third out. Bobby Dahl back fires it into the dugout. And what followed was just out past the outstretch glove of Raymer. Two more runs would score. ASU led it five to nothing. And Scott Erickson, Seth Martinez took advantage of all five of those runs. He was fantastic tonight. You see him elevating right there, painting the outside corner, breaking balls down and in. He was using all, all his pitches at any count. Good changeup. And using the defense. He's making him put the ball in play. A couple hard hit balls, some line drives right out to people. Took a no-hitter into the fifth, shut out into the seventh. Does a great job on Friday night, gives his team game one victory. Seven and a third innings, he gives up just one earned run. Here's the other part of the story. Nathan Bannister had those couple of unearned runs. He ended up pitching into the ninth, giving up two earned runs. Scott, that helps the bullpen all weekend long. Tremendously. They get to save all the guys. They didn't have to bring them in and pitch eight innings out of pen. A lot of times you give up five and a first, you might be out of there, but he went out in the second through the seventh and shut him down one hit over that time period and uh, really did a good job of giving his team a chance to stay in the game. Game two and three, we'll have them both for you on the Pac-12 Network. Pac-12 Arizona on Sunday as a lone destination for that one. This destination, Tucson, more than 6,000 fans on hand tonight at High Corp. But he's Scott, I'm Darren. Thanks for keeping track of this great series. And we'll talk to you soon next time on campus from the ballpark.